Hey everyone, let's talk about free stock video. Um, so we're looking for stuff that we can use both personally uh, and professionally, okay, commercial video as well. And the term you're looking for is free stock video. Stock as in it's in stock and you can use it. Anybody can buy it or anybody can actually get it for free. Um, there's another term that gets thrown around that is called royalty free. It's not free, it just means you don't have to pay a royalty every time you play it. Some videos, okay, are rights managed. Okay, and that term means that often you'll have to, every time it plays, okay, you'll have to pay the owner of the video a little bit. That happens more with like news coverage and sports games and those sorts of things. But for us, royalty free is out of the scope of this video because we want just regular free. And the most common ones are the ones that I use the most are Pixabay, okay, and this one here called Pixels. Both of these do both images and video. Okay, and what you're looking for in all of these sites, I'll go through them all real quick, is you're looking for not all of them, just because they're on here doesn't mean that they're going to be completely commercial free. Let's just click on this one. Okay, and we're looking over here. This one is free for commercial use. Woohoo! And you're looking for no attribution. Some of them will be free for commercial use, but you'll have to attribute the owners. And that might be, let's say that it's used in YouTube, uh, you'll have to. Um, put a link to them or at least acknowledge them in the description but if they do ask for it they'll be a little bit clearer about it it's amazing it's a bit of a revolution lately there were there was a time where there was no such thing as free video now there's lots on there so pixels is another one uh, this one here Mazwai is another one vidEasy comes up a lot in searches uh, vidivo basically I did a search for you beforehand okay and found the ones that I've used before in the past there's a lot of crossover between a uh, lots of these um, so those are the kind of main ones there are lots of other ones okay I've linked them all in your um, links folder okay here they all are here so all of these are just your generic um, where to get free videos to use these last two are slightly different the term public domain is a useful term to know when it comes to um, content okay so things that are public domain are either uh, kind of created for public consumption from the start or that they're just so old that they've there's like a standing license time that the owners are allowed to have for footage okay and it can drop off and it falls into something called the public domain and often there's really old stuff it's really cool okay but you got to kind of hunt through it uh, a website called pond5 did a really cool project where they try to kind of put a category together or at least a catalog that's what a word i want of all the projects now you gotta be careful in here pond5 are a commercial company that sell videos they're great okay they're you know they're, they're a great company but you do end up kind of going through here looking for footage typing a search and then some birds and you end up not only kind of you're, you've ended up outside of that um, that kind of public domain catalog so you just get to be careful how you use it okay uh, even now the back button ended up <laughs> doing crazy searches so um, the best way is to go to public uh, pond5.com slash free okay and that will kind of get you in here just be careful where you're working in here to make sure you stick to the cool old pictures that you're allowed to use because they're a public domain this is the best one <laughs> an actual hovercraft all right uh, let's have a look at other kind of public domain um, uh, NASA and um, kind of uh, allow people to use their um, images not commercially okay but they do supply them out to be used for different projects just make sure before you go and stick it in some sort of you know Super Bowl ad that you're allowed to use it okay so you can yeah they've got some really cool stuff in here some raw stuff as well to play around with which is cool the last thing is don't be afraid of paid okay I knew for a long time I never paid for anything I would spend hours looking for free stuff even though my hours were costing me okay so for don't be afraid of free remember Envato okay you can go to and as part of your license I like this site because as part of my monthly license I get to download images which is really cool you pay your subscription though and um, or again like Adobe stock they have some really cool stuff but you can buy these once off here Okay, just buy once off things and 4k HD you have full commercial license so sometimes you just need to go out to these kinds of sites he's very concerned um, one thing that happens quite common is when you are pitching ideas to a client okay is you just leave the watermark version okay and when the client approves it you go in and pay for it afterwards just make sure the clients aware of the costs involved they're all slightly different let's have a look at this one here this one here is gonna cost me for HD 
Okay, it's gonna cost me 50 bucks. So it's not cheap. It's a lot more expensive than your images. Like when it comes to our free versus paid, uh, remember our graphic motion templates earlier on, uh, the quality just goes up and there's, you can see lots of variants of the same thing. Yeah, free or paid, there's gonna be times in your career that you're gonna need one of the other. Those are all the places that I use. There's a plenty more. Just remember those terms, you want free stock video. And also when you are on these sites, just make sure that when you do a search, okay, you will, the reason Pixabay can give away free stuff is because they get paid another way. Let's say that I need a picture of a handsome man. Okay, and I'm not appearing, where is it? Ah, uh, let's, <laughs> okay, what they've done, there's no, they don't have anything of a handsome man. Okay, that's, that's the only handsome man they have. And you're like, oh, this would be awesome. What they do is they sponsor this like slightly darker bit is full of the um, paid uh, videos. Okay, Shutterstock is another site like Pond5 or Elements, um, Envato Elements. Okay, and that's how they make their money. They want you to go, oh, but I really want this handsome man. Okay, because that handsome man's not going to cut it. So you end up going and buying it and they get a commission okay, on royalties. Um, let's say plant. Things like nature and plants, often you can find just as good free stuff as you can paid stuff. Often. Not always. Okay, you're probably not going to get too many stop motion of things growing out of the dirt. Um, but you, you just got to be conscious all of the free sites will have some sort of like, oh, this would be awesome. Oh, it's sponsored by something. Often Shutterstock. Anyway, that is the free video uh, video done. I'll see you in the next one. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.